So today we are going to see uh, alarm configuration in HMI. So first of all, what we are to do here is in our PLC, we have to make a logic using move instruction. So here I am uh, moving input status, okay? <clears throat> For your errors or faults, okay, we are having two types of uh, alarms. One is digital and under. Digital means on off, right? Means uh, any motor strip, okay? Or OLR we are having, okay, it is strip, okay, the signal we are getting. Of a uh, digital sensor which we are sensing for some error or fault, okay? So some digital sensors are there, okay? So that we are <coughs> measuring digital faults, okay? For analog, it will be like limits. Okay, we are setting limits in the time, like if it is crossing uh, some value, we should get a message. Okay, so in alarms, we are actually getting messages because your XMI and SCADA, there is a software part. Okay, so if you are getting any error or fault or any uh, limit exceeding, okay, for that, in hardware, we are having some buzzer, siren, LED indicator. Okay, that is with the hardware. But in SCADA or HMI, we are getting a message. So we have to generate these messages here in HMI. Okay. <clears throat> so for which input we have to generate, okay, that list we will be having here. So that status we have to move in some memory, like MW50 or any other memory we have to move. So here I cannot give this, uh, this direct addresses in your uh, HMI. So we have to create one tag in HMI using some memory for these errors and faults. Okay, so it is directly moved to your memory. So, this is like uh, if I say IW0, I'm moving into something like IB. ID, IW0 means IB0 and IB1. Mm -hmm. So these two bytes are added. Okay, that is one one. So these two bytes we are having total 16 bits. So here it is starting from here, I1.0 to I1.7, then 0 0.0 to 0 0.7. Okay, similarly, what we are doing, we are moving into some memory. So MW50 I am moving, right? So it is 50 and 51. So these two bytes will be there. MB, 50 plus MB 51. Right? So, what happens when I give any input? You can see which of the input I am making on the same bit is moving to M memory. Right? So, bit to bit it is shifting the status or popping the status, you can say. Okay? This for this is the example for showing your <coughs> moves instruction. Okay. Now suppose if I want to use any fault inputs like uh, uh, I zero point five to uh, I zero point seven something. Okay. <coughs> this example you can use. <coughs> I minimize this. Let's create a tag name using MW fifty. So go to the tags table here in your application. Double click here. Get one tag like false uh, tag. I can give him okay. one tag. False tag. <clears throat> and I'm taking it as a PLC tag. A driver connection. We have to select. Here we have to select. Here you have to select data type as word, okay, not as integer or real. Integer or real means there is a value, but here we are not uh, measuring any value. We are uh, reading the status of the inputs, okay, input status for each bit, okay. So that's why I'm taking it as a word, and here was the word m. W 
on screen so here we can display the alarm using the display that you will find in enhanced object you can see there are different display options here one is alarm view select this alarm view and just drag it over here in the window Now in this window we have to display messages, but we have to generate messages for those tags. Okay, so <clears throat> here you can see we need to configure alarm management. We are having separate folder for alarm management. We are having alarm, analog alarms and discrete alarm. Double click on discrete alarms. It opens a separate window here for discrete alarm configuration. So you can give some text, for example. Message number one and class you can define like errors or warnings only. Okay, one class is error. <clears throat> so for which tag you want to generate like a uh, false tag I'm using in this for which bit I want to generate. So what will be the bit number for this uh, address like uh, m m zero point uh, sorry i zero point five. It is M fifty point five, okay. For M fifty point five, okay. So that address we have to select here. Here it is showing the address here, okay. Let's go to the address. Two point five is bit number thirteen. Okay, bit number thirteen is here fifty point five. If you count the bit numbers, okay. Zero, one, two, three, up to seven here. Then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So bit number five is your bit number thirteen actually. Okay, that is the address. Okay, fifty point five is the address. That is the bit number thirteen. Okay, so like this. For which, uh, like a <coughs> motor trip, a message is going to be. Or motor on trip, okay. Any location, not to mention something, okay. Any message you can give, and uh, <clears throat> other example like uh, wall one, <clears throat> not opening or not closing something, okay. So that one is. Not opening. Okay, so like this, we can generate some digital tags. Okay, you can create a list here. Okay, so this is for digital alarms. Then I save this window, discrete window. Then I go to analog alarms. In analog alarms is a separate window. Analog means some variable value, right? So means the value is changing. So here I can set the limits. Okay, if your limit is cross, okay, while increasing or decreasing, if it is crossing that limit, then we have to generate a message. So, <clears throat> like pressure tag or no output I want to use limit. I got limit like a twenty. I will take. Okay, for trigger mode, we should trigger that message for warning edge. Means when the level is going down. Okay, so some text like uh, where it is happening in type one. Okay, level at which process or power at which uh, uh, nearby the machine or process. Okay, that we can select. Similarly, for increasing also type one level on. No, okay. Okay. 
Save this window. Then, and this time, what I do, I copy that home button. And then C. So, I do C. And then, okay, the alarm window. And one more thing here, where uh, you can see here, it is having a table, alarm table, where you can note the status, number, time, date, status, text. Okay. So here, if I want to do some uh, like uh, acknowledgement, okay, that we have to add these buttons here under properties. And to go to what is that option? This box first, then in general, properties here we are having display option. Okay, and this is what we need to display info text button or acknowledge button or any edit button if you want to edit any <coughs> data. Okay, for that we can select the menu bar. So we got it so far. Okay, column text. Let's save this window. So I go to runtime to check the result. Go to the alarm. So you can see some values coming up here. Okay, acknowledge message is C. C means uh, it has not acknowledged yet. So if you want to see the info text for that, there's no info text for that here. And that we have to do it separately for this time. We need to acknowledge C A, that is acknowledge. Okay, check. Now, if I generate some errors like for digital by clicking on, okay, you can see we are getting this result. Okay, so such messages you can generate. So when I remove this uh, inputs also here, they still there. Okay, messages are still there because you are not acknowledged them. So select it and acknowledge one by one. Okay, so when this is going off, like uh, change this. this is okay. Then I can generate for high level. Like this, you can generate the messages. Acknowledge them one by one. And when this is coming to a normal condition, the messages will go. Okay. So, these are your configuring alarm or your having more options. 
that we need to practice this. Yeah, one by one. Okay, now. The next topic is uh, trends. Okay, trend view. That is your uh, graph view. Okay, graph means uh, just like we are having some up and down spikes. Okay, so how much? If I am having some set point. Okay, like fifty something. It is crossing fifty, and how much it has uh, crossed the level? Means uh, it has five plus five minus five something. Okay, so that value. Okay, that you can easily identify that variation. Okay, it is in Limit or crossing the limits. Okay, like that you can select the, you can monitor that result. So, I add one more screen here. And I have this screen as a pen. Okay, now here from enhanced objects, you can have, you can see here we are having. Trend view. Select the trend view and drag it in this window. And the button I'm pasting here and which I copy. This trend view. It's up to you how much length you want to. Now, so with this trend, you can add the tags. Okay, so how many tags you want to display here that you need to add? So for adding tags, select the table, then at the bottom, go to the animation. Go to the properties here, then you can see we are having trend option. Okay, and this trend, like the trend is asking you to the is asking you to add a tag name for this. Okay, so like trend one for like level. Okay, let's give the name, and here we have to add a tag name. Okay, source settings from here, like level, we have to add source settings. Then other tag if you want to add like flow, then you have to select your tag flow. Okay. Like this, you can add the tags. Okay. Can select different color for this. Okay. <clears throat> then in the welcome window, select the end table uh, button and the events. And press the yeah, screen. This will not have to it. Yes. So, one time. Let's pull it out. So, you can see some values coming here. We saw nothing here in this level here. When we are having this ruler line, we have to move this line. So I can do this. I can do some another. I do some value. Increase the degrees. And W twenty is also we are using right. So.
صدای صدا Okay, I'm going to go to the Let's just a couple of questions. 